Have you seen ads and sponsorships for Aura and are wondering whether or not the service is worth it? Well, in this video, we're going to be taking a closer look at the platform, including the pros and cons. Hey everyone, this is Kyle from Money at 30, and on this channel we look at personal finance from a millennial perspective, including app and tour reviews like this one. I don't know about you, but over the past several months, I've been seeing the name Aura an awful lot. This not only includes YouTube sponsorships, but also an Amex offer, which is what got me to sign up. But with this hype, is the service worth it, and what does it even offer? Let's take a look at Aura and what I think are some of the key features. The first things to know about Aura are the plans and pricing, with the latter proving to be a bit confusing to me. Currently, Aura offers three main plans, individual, couple, and family. While the first two are self-explanatory and include many of the same features but doubled for couples, the family plan does include some extras. For example, this plan adds safe gaming with cyberbullying alerts, parental controls, spam call and message protection, and more. For this review, we'll be looking at the individual plan since that's what I personally have. In terms of pricing, this is where things get a bit interesting. If you go to Aura.com and then navigate to the plans page, you'll see these prices starting with a $15 a month individual plan that works out to $12 a month if paid for a year up front. However, when googling Aura, I came across a page that has individual plans for $12 a month or $9 with an annual plan. Meanwhile, Rakuten offers $10 cash back on Aura, but that link led to a $13 per month page or $10 with annual. Obviously, this is all confusing, so I'd recommend finding the best deal for yourself. One other note, while the main Aura site does mention a 14-day free trial, the other two pages I found did not, but all include a 60-day money-back guarantee. With all of that out of the way, let's finally talk about what Aura actually does. Next, while there are plenty of services that you can use to monitor your credit, I found that Aura's alerts are far more comprehensive. It's common for sites like Credit Karma, WalletHub, and others to give customers alerts when they unfreeze their credit, get a new inquiry, and more. While Aura also does this, I've noticed that the service also alerts me to other activities. For example, there have been times where I sign up for an app and the Know Your Customer confirmation triggers an Aura alert. Honestly, I think this level of monitoring is impressive, but I suppose the alerts could also get annoying. In any case, you can review your Vantage Score 3.0 credit score with Aura, and interestingly, also turn on Experian Credit Lock. So while I don't think these features justify the price of Aura on their own, they are certainly core to the service. As you've probably heard in sponsorship spots, Aura can also help you get your personal information removed from certain websites. If you've never Googled yourself before, it can be a pretty frightening experience. That's because a shocking amount of your personal data can likely be found on sites for anyone to view or purchase. To combat this, Aura's data broker removal tool can not only help you find these sites hosting your data, but also assist in getting it removed. It's true that there are similar tools like this available through the likes of Discover and others, but Aura's is easy to use and seems to work pretty well from my experience. Thus, this is another solid feature. Another useful feature in Aura is their password manager, which not only stores your current passwords, but can also suggest new ones and help you change old ones. As part of Aura's vault features, you can store your various passwords for easy access. Plus, when you import your passwords, Aura will highlight any weak, reused, or breached passwords. What's more, when you install the Aura browser extension, you can use the service to autofill and save your passwords from various sites. When signing up for a new account, it can also recommend a secure password. Most impressively, for some sites, Aura can go through the change password process largely by itself to swap out your weak passwords for better ones. Going back to new accounts, there's also an email alias option. This will allow you to use an email address that ends in at AuraPrivateEmail.com, but forwards to your real address if you want. Together, I find these features to be quite helpful. Finally, in addition to the site and browser extension, there's also an Aura desktop app with antivirus and VPN features. With the Aura desktop app, you can first scan your machine to see if you have any malware. If you do, then there's an option to quarantine threats, although I don't know exactly what that does. Meanwhile, the other feature of the app is a VPN. While this will mask your location, it seems as though Aura will just route you through the nearest available location rather than allowing you to choose. But if you need a simple VPN, this could be a nice bonus to your membership. Overall, as YouTube sponsorships have stated, Aura has a number of well-placed features that you might find elsewhere, even if these versions aren't quite as in-depth as what you'd get with a dedicated service. Still, pricing confusion aside, I came away largely impressed with Aura's offerings. Aura combines a number of useful features, such as password management, credit monitoring, and more, and puts them all in one place. That's largely a good thing, but those wanting a more robust experience with some auxiliary features may be disappointed. For example, while this VPN gets the job done, the inability to select a specific location like you could with solo VPNs is a drawback. With that said, if you can get a good deal on Aura, I think a membership could be worth it, especially since it also includes $1 million in identity theft insurance, a documents vault, and other features I didn't have a chance to mention. Of course, I do mean find a good deal, as Aura seems to have several offers out at the same time. So be sure to poke around before buying, and hopefully you can get a price you're happy with. Hopefully this gives you a better idea about what Aura is all about, but for much more on the service, I'll have a link to my full written review in the description box down below. Also, if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment, and be sure to subscribe because we have new videos all the time. So thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time here on Money at 30.